Hi guys. So in this video, I am going to talk about how I have been using tarot cards for personal guidance and growth purposes. A lot of people have the um, misconception that society tells us about tarot card reading. It's for looking into the future and blah, 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 blah. Okay, like I said, it's a misconception. This is not a crystal ball future reading type of thing. Some people use a tarot card. Um, yes, you can help it um, it can help you with guidance on your future or give you an idea about where your life may be going, things like that. But this is definitely not something that says you're going to die in 2053, like none of that stuff, okay? So I use tarot card readings not to do readings on others. Usually I will, like a family member or something like that. But I got into the tarot card readings because I wanted some type of spiritual guidance, some type of personal guidance some type of it's almost like therapy for me to be honest the the tarot cards if you use them right for pers personal purposes they will really help you make sense of your life make sense of situations make sense of the direction you're going and just overall give you an insight into things you may not have thought about or um look at a situation in a whole another light that you might not have even you know thought up at all so that's how i got into it um and so if you're here watching this video you're probably here to learn exactly what i mean by that and how i have personally um gained lots of lots of clarity and guidance from tarot cards so i'm just going to get right into it so first of all this is the deck i'm using this is the modern witch tarot deck so first of all, you can get these um, tarot decks online. Um, if you have um, bookstores, sometimes have them. Um, if you have like a crystal shop or a magic shop in your area, then I've seen decks there too. I got mine off Amazon because I wanted this one specifically because I too had watched a YouTube video and it was actually, um, they showed this deck. And so you, when you pick a deck, there's no like, I don't know one that's better than the other i will say first and foremost you do pick a deck make sure if you're starting out you might want to get a, a standard one by standard i mean um they have a standard tarot system which is called like the rider rider weight if i hope i'm saying that right rider weight tarot system which basically is overall um, system of tarot meaning even if I have this deck or another deck or another deck or another deck that is the Rider Waite system it's all the cards have the same meanings there's just different pictures and I like to use the standard deck because although these books come with a guidebook where you can you know read the meaning of each card um, the guidebooks are usually small and they don't really go in depth if you have a standard Rider Waite tarot deck you can always go online there's several um articles several websites that will go in depth on each of these card meanings because the tarot cards um there's there's several meanings to the cards so this is another reason why i use it for personal purposes and not necessarily for um overall readings on people because um it, it would take a lot it would take some studying you know definitely but for, if you're just here um to get some personal guidance and spiritual guidance then if you have a standard tarot deck it's easy you do the draw uh you can either use the guidebook i like to go online i have a specific website i go on um to read up what the cards mean and um i'll tell you that if, in the video as well but yeah so using my modern witch tarot deck standard rider weight tarot deck has 78 cards um all the standard ones will have 78 cards so the first thing i want to say when you get these cards is not to just buy the deck and start using them okay the decks are not magic by any means they're not some magical thing you yourself your intuition your energy is what gives the cards the power so um when i first got the deck you have to uh do kind of a, a small ritual with it um a ritual meaning like to program the cards with your energy okay because like i said they are not just magic cards they you give it the magic okay you and your intuition 
so what i did when i first got my cards the way i bonded with them it's important to bond with them you can bond with them simply by shuffling them your energy is transferring into the cards just simply you know shuffling them um but i i wanted to do a different type of bonding so what i actually did is and what i do when i get any tarot deck card um tarot deck or oracle deck or whatever kind of deck is i put all the cards in the box and i sleep with the tarot deck under my pillow okay for one whole night so i did that at first then i cleaned cleansed the deck i cleansed it with sage smoke cleansing um if you're familiar with sage just burn the sage um, and I had the cards and I just literally cleanse them and smoke because again, you want them to be fully programmed to your energy. Um, no one else's, you know, if they came through the mail or if they were in the store, they picked up energies from other people along the way. And you want to kind of clear that energy and make sure it's your energy, your intentions, your spirit going, you know, into these cards. Because again, that's what is going to make the cards work for you you and your magic you know so after i clean cleanse the cards cards with sage slept overnight with them under my pillow um the next day i kind of just took some time to look over all the cards familiarize myself with the deck you know kind of like introducing myself getting to know them touching them looking at them literally bonding with them and then i started doing my shuffle and um, you also might want to thank the deck in advance, you know, thank it for the guidance, um, the knowledge, and everything that you are going to receive from it. Um, I always thank the deck first, kind of like invocating it into my life, like thank you for all that you will be doing uh, for me in the future. And so after I bond it with the deck, I just shuffle. Again, putting my energy into the cards. This is something I do before every reading too. I always spend time shuffling the deck. Really, you know, letting it absorb my energy before I do the reading or ask the question that I might be asking. And to shuffle, I just, I just do a general shuffle like this. I don't do, um one of these standard card shuffles because I don't want to damage the cards so I just do a general shuffle like this shuffle 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 okay and then I like to cut the deck so after I'm done shuffling it I like to cut the deck like this um I will note that sometimes um when while I'm doing my shuffle in my mind i mentally say things or you can say them out loud or you don't you can skip this step altogether again um there's nothing there's no right or wrong way to handle the cards the cards are going to be programmed to your intuition they're gonna feel your energy and they're gonna work for you regardless regardless if you follow every single step regardless if you do some of the steps you know it's it's still gonna work for you i promise you so while i'm shuffling a lot of the times i say in my head you know spirit higher self ancestors jesus christ universe you know please guide my intuition as i do this reading on myself and i ask all these things for guidance of my own intuition you know just because in my mind i i feel like i could i i like to talk to the cards okay um i feel like it helps um and I'm basically asking for guidance on my intuition because again, um, I am doing this so that I can have personal guidance from myself, coming from my intuition. My intuition is telling me what I need to know, what I need to do, what I need to hear right now. So I, um, I find it very powerful to ask God and the spirits in the universe and my higher self to guide my intuition as I do this reading. Again, you don't have to do that at all. You can if you'd like. That's what I choose to do as I'm shuffling it. Okay, after I'm done shuffling it, I like to cut the deck. Just like that, just cut it one time. And then I do one of two ways when I'm doing a draw. My favorite way, I'm gonna put the camera down, is the spread of the deck like this. 
And then, uh oh, can't really see. I spread the deck like that, and I just kind of pick whichever um, pops out to me. So right now I'm gonna do a three card reading. So I'm gonna pick three cards. This one is standing out to me, this one here, and this one here. I picked the three cards that stood out to me, put the rest away. And this is a three card general reading I'm, I am doing. Um, the three card general reading that I normally do uh, does three things, well tells me three different things. A positive, a negative, and advice. And I call this a general reading because I'm not asking it a question. I just want it to give me general guidance on, you know, what's something positive right now? What's something negative going on right now? Or not um, necessarily just negative, something that might not be up to par, something that I'm lacking, something that I need help with, something that I can change. You know, this is more of a, um, it's not completely negative. That's what I need you to understand. And then advice, just uh, where should I go from here? You know, what do I need to know today? What do I need to do? Okay. So I'm going to flip the cards. So I have the nine of cups, uh, regular, and then I have the page of swords reversed, four of swords, re swords reversed. And again, this is why I'm going to flip the camera back up. This is why I like to use the standard tarot deck because if I was using a, um, a, the pan, the book right now, the book that came with the deck, um, it only reads the cards uh, upright and not not the ones that are um, reversed. However, um, reversed and upright cards have different meanings. So if I get a nine of cups and it flips upside down, it does not have the same meaning of the nine of cups that's that is standing up you know so again there's 78 cards in this deck and they can be either upright or reverse that's a lot a lot of different perceptions you can get from the cards you know so um my, the website i like to use is biddy tarot B-I-D-D-Y-T-A-R-O-T dot com. I also have a deck of theirs, the Biddy Tarot deck, but I like to use Biddy Tarot because um, they give you a description of the card. This is also good if you want to learn too. They'll tell you like the meaning of the card. They'll interpret like what the picture is, what the picture is telling you. And then it'll also give you the upright meaning and the reverse meaning. There are several other sites too that if you wanted to do a non-general reading, like say this was a love reading, you wanted to do it on your relationship. These cards have specific meanings in 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 different aspects too that they can be interpreted in so just so many different ways, like I said. But if you're using this for your own personal guidance, don't waste your time trying to study it, try to memorize it, try to, because like I said, there's 78 cards. There's so many different meanings and interpretations and uprights and reverse that it's not worth it. If you're just here, you know, for spiritual guidance, just go ahead, do the draw, go online and interpret your cards and get the reading, you know, and get what you want to get from the reading. So I um, I'm not going to interpret this right now, but um, I want to talk more about the um, the interpretations, because when I when I first started reading the tarot uh, decks, um, I found that it was important to get a journal. The reason I'll tell you to get a journal if you are just starting out is because I did a few readings and I'm like, huh, does it make sense? Like, I guess it doesn't really apply to me, blah, blah, blah. But later on, I'd say like a week or two later, I start, things had started happening and I thought back to those readings and I was like, you know what? They did say something about that, but at the time it didn't apply, but later on it did. So like I said, these cards are not necessarily like looking into your future and telling you the future, but they will they will give you some insight on what could be to come. And um, it's it's important that if you get a reading that you don't really understand right away, write it down. Whether you have a tarot journal or not, um, write it down because I, I promise you later on, I don't know how much later it would be, might be different each time, but later on, you will really, really come to see like, hmm, it made a lot of sense. So, um, 
yeah, definitely write down your readings. This deck, actually, this tarot deck came with the journal. I, I don't have it here, but if you get the Modern Witch Tarot deck from Amazon, it actually comes with the journal where you can log all your readings if you'd like. It tells you different spreads you can do. And this spread that I did right here, this general three card spread, is just what I'm showing for this video. Again, just for people who want to do general readings on themselves for personal guidance this is an easy route to go it's pretty in-depth you can do one card readings you can do there's 12 card spreads you know it gets more complicated as you get into it but again i just made this video for beginners who just want to um use use the cards for basic purposes right now uh for spiritual guidance so that's how i do it um, thank you guys for watching. I'll make some more videos on this. And also, um, I like to use an Oracle deck too, which is different from uh, the Terra decks. And I have received lots of good knowledge and guidance from the Oracle deck too. And um, like I said, when you're just starting out, don't worry about it. There's no right or wrong, or wrong way for you to do this. As long as you're spending the time putting your energy into these cards you are the magic okay there's there's no way for you to mess it up even if you did the shuffle just like i did the shuffle and you didn't do the spread you just straight up turned it around and put one two three cards i guarantee you the spread the information is still going to be relevant it really has nothing to do with the technical uh details of things like that again remember always remember with anything you are the magic you give the cards the power these are not magical cards the magic is your intuition these are um these are giving you insight into your own intuition things that are in your subconscious things that you already know uh subconsciously but not, might not know consciously also um messages that your higher self wants you to know so um best of luck on your tarot journey wish you all um success on your reading i'm glad you're here watching this video that means you're starting out on this journey it's exciting there's a lot of self-growth and self um healing to come with it i will warn you guys too for beginners i'm telling you in the beginning i didn't really like um reading these cards that much because like i said this is yourself talking to you and telling you what you need to know and they're not always going to be nice this is not all love and light you know <laughs> like um i remember i i had pulled the death card like five times within a few months and the death card it's not like saying oh someone's gonna die that's not what it means the death card is something it could be something that ended a period of time that ended a relationship that ended it can be something that needs to die within yourself mentally emotionally physically it could be you know something that needs change and in my case i kept pulling it up and pulling it up and uh reading it with the other cards and basically interpreting it as i needed to stop my negative thought process i was my own worst enemy i needed to stop um the way i was negative self-talking the way i was you know not really believing in myself the way i was just being negative altogether and I actually got to the point where I got mad at the cards because I'm like why do I never have a positive reading why is it always telling me basically that I ain't shit <laughs> you know <laughs> like but um one one day um I just kind of started doing things to be more intentionally happy because one I got tired of pulling that card to be honest and two I started to realize you know what I probably am part of the problem after i started doing these intentional things to have an intentionally good day and i stopped negative self-talking i stopped saying terrible things like oh what a terrible day or i'm so broke or i'm this totally like stopped all that negative self-talk i haven't pulled the death card in a few months and it all makes sense to me why it kept telling me the same thing and i wasn't listening so again these cards they will slap some sense into you they'll slap you in the face they'll tell you what you need to know in here and you know be ready for it like i said it's an exciting journey and it's really good um if you're like me like i wanted to go to therapy but i didn't but i didn't you know 
this is something this is my therapy for me you know like if i'm having a bad day i'll read it um i try and remember to read it every day or even every other day just so i can you know have some type of guidance for the day or whatever but it really is like self therapy you don't need to look outside of yourself for anything you know you can learn and heal and guide yourself with your own intuition using tarot cards so again thank you for watching i'll be back with more videos like and comment if you can if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments as well and um write back i'll write back if you have any insights to tell me because i too am a learner i too am on this spiritual journey with you uh go ahead and leave those in the comments too thank you for watching and i will see you next time